So whenever you're dealing with anything, with any autoimmune issues though, uh, and you can read this in, in the book, you have to address the gut. So anybody have food allergies here? Uh, food allergies have to do, I don't believe, I come from a very Christian perspective, I don't believe that God made us to have food allergies. So now part of the problem is that our food has been changed, right? Gluten per se isn't the same gluten that we were exposed to even a hundred years ago. Uh, and the, ex the amount of gluten that we're exposed to today has changed because the, uh, of white flour and such. So I can understand that entire perspective, but you have to deal with gut damage. So your gut is a barrier, just like your skin is a barrier. So if you walked around and kept cutting your skin and cutting your skin every day, you just cut your skin in different places, you're going to end up with an infection sooner or later. Well, that's what happens in your gut. Your gut is a barrier. Your skin is a barrier. Your brain has a barrier from the blood for different chemicals to get through. When you break those barriers, we end up having problems. So in your gut, your intestinal villi, your cells are very close together. Normally, food, so let's use gluten as an example. Gluten is a protein. So the protein of gluten, think of that as a, think of it as a, as a great big long chain. And that's the protein that you, that you chew up and you, and you swallow. Now it goes into your body and your stomach and that's where you talk about pH. Your stomach has to have a very low pH. It's the only part of your body that you need to have a pH of about 1.0. And that's where digestion starts to take place. Well, it actually starts to take place in your mouth, but it starts to break down those proteins. And it breaks down the chain into individual links. So you want the chain into individual links. On a protein, each link is an amino acid. And those amino acids are chained together in a certain format that make it what it is as a protein. So as you break it down and you chew it up and you swallow it and your hydrochloric acid in your stomach breaks it down and your digestive enzymes further break it down, it gets down into individual links or maybe at most two links bound together. That's called a dipeptide. That's the only way it should get across your gut border. So Food, when you eat it, gets broken down into small particles. Easiest way to understand. And then it gets brought across the gut wall in the smallest particles. But when I have a damaged gut wall, so instead of my intestinal villi cells being very close together, they're damaged and they're separated. Some cells are dead and they're separated. Now, things are coming across the blood, the gut barrier much larger than they ever were supposed to. So when that chain is at 15 links and it was not supposed to ever cross the gut barrier, it can fit right through. And then your immune system recognizes it as an enemy, like what the heck is that? Let's kill it. That's what your immune system does, right? So it fires an immune reaction against that long chain peptide and you develop a food sensitivity. Now I'm sensitive to gluten. Every time I eat gluten, I have a reaction. And that can be a sliding scale of sensitivity, depending on how damaged my gut barrier is.